Hi, this is Janet Ingle of Janet Ingle Reads. Um, I was asked after my last newsletter to show a video of the technique I use cleaning out old reads using a plaque. Um, and I delayed for a while doing that because I was pretty sure that I didn't know how to make a good video and it was going to be terrible and it was going to be hard. Um, but it turns out that I had all of the technology I needed basically in my back pocket, so to speak. And so I thought I would uh, go ahead and do this for you. It turns out it's easy and if you have other questions or other read things you would like me to show you, let me know. Comment here or uh, contact me through my website, JanetIngle.com, because um, I'd love to know how I can be helpful. So, um, as you use an oboe reed, over time, uh, a little fine layer of mush can develop uh, inside the, it, both inside and outside the reed. Um, it's organic material, your saliva breaks it down, a constant cycle of soaking and drying um, will help to develop that goo. And uh, over time, it'll really dampen the vibrations of the reed. So I clean it out just using my plaque, the same plaque that I used to make the reed in the first place. I'll insert it really gently and use it, uh, lean it forward to scrape the front surface of the reed and I'll turn over the reed and I'll do the other blade as well. Now I'm not getting a lot out because these are pretty well maintained reeds but you can see maybe that there's just a little bit of schmutz right there at the bottom of the plaque. I'll wipe it off. Yeah. Um, and this is the, the stuff that accumulates. I, I liken it to the tartar that, or the plaque that builds up on your teeth when you uh, go and miss a day of brushing. Um, it's not a big deal. You can brush it off really easily. You just have to remember to do it. Uh, the same gunk, of course, builds up on the outside of the reed. Most often I would use a knife to clean that. I would just go over the whole reed, the three regions of the reed, the tip, the heart, and the back, with my knife using almost no pressure. Um, getting just cane of this sort of quality. Let me see if you can see that. Really just dust. Um, but if you don't have a knife or you're not comfortable with your knife skills, you can use your plaque for the same technique. Um, I just use the side of my plaque where it's worn down a little bit and I'll scrape up from the back up toward the tip of the reed, just going over the whole surface. And maybe you can see that sure enough, oh, there it is, I'm trying to get you focus, that there's sure enough a little bit of schmutz up there. Um, so I'm taking off from the reed the same stuff that I took off from the inside. Um, and all of this is going to have the effect of just rejuvenating this reed, waking it back up so that it vibrates once again. Um, Obviously, of course, the reed has been well soaked before I start to do that. You wouldn't want to do that on a dry reed at all. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. Now that I know how to make a simple read video, I'd be happy to do so for any other questions you might have. Feel free to reach out to me at jennetinglereads at gmail.com or connect with through my website or my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Have a great day and happy oboeing.